how to make Microsoft Windows 11 Pro run faster. In this video session, I'm going to show you different techniques for improving the speed of Microsoft Windows 11 Pro version. But if you're using the Home Edition, no problems because the insights can be used for Microsoft Windows, whether it's 11 or Windows 10 as well. Furthermore, do keep in mind, I'm going to create a blog post on Rankia.com, whereby I'm going to share a couple of lines of code that you should definitely consider using for improving the performance for your Windows 11 Pro installation. Whether using a desktop or a laptop with Microsoft Windows 11, let's go and see what can be done. First, open control panel. If you do not have a shortcut, simply search Windows for control panel and bring up control panel. Now, Windows operating system has always had control panel. In Windows 11 version, we do not have administrative tasks here. And yet we have Windows tools. That's something new in Windows 11. So let's go and see how we can make our Windows 11 Pro version operate fast. Through control panel, locate system feature. There's a menu option. Double click. Then bring out advanced system settings. All Microsoft Windows op operating systems had this option and Windows 11 still has this. On the advanced tab, you have performance option here. Let's press settings. By default, the setting is let Windows choose what's best for my computer. And yet you can say, you know what? adjust for best performance. Let's imagine you're using your laptop with Windows 11 Pro installed only for gaming purposes and the visual elements is not important in the Windows side of things because when you're gaming you're only looking at the gaming screen for example, right? If that's the case you can actually select adjust for best performance. Okay, so keep that in mind, or you can let Windows decide, or you can choose custom and tinker around with some of these settings. So I won't cover every single one of them, but rather tell you to make your Windows 11 Pro version operate faster. This is the first place you should um, adjust and tune up. So in my example, I'll go back to let Windows decide what's best for my computer. And on the Advanced tab, here we have option for virtual memory. Let's press on Change. By default, it is system managed size. But to make your Windows 11 run faster, you should select custom size. What this means is, Virtual memory, I'm not going to go in depth trying to explain how that works, but rather tell you when you set the custom size, you're basically gaining additional RAM performance. In my example, I've set the initial size to 4000 megabytes, which is 4 gig. And maximum size in my example, I've set to 8 gig. Right, so that's a great performance gain by just setting the custom size for virtual memory. You can actually set the maximum size to be perhaps 16 gigabytes if you want. That is to do with the free space available on your hard drive. So basically select the drive and then set custom size and then select OK, select apply and then restart your PC. Okay, so that's one way to speed up Microsoft Windows 11 Pro version or Home Edition. 
In fact, Windows 10 still has that option for you to optimize your Windows operating system. Next, let's press on the Windows icon. We can press on all apps and take a look at the apps that's installed on our computer. What we need to do at this moment is really sit back and say, you know what? How do I use my Windows 11? Because each person that is using Windows will be using it differently. For example, you may have Windows Phone that's connected and synced with Windows 11. If that's the case, some of the apps such as my phone or locate my device, that may be important. But if it's not, then say, okay, you know what? Let me first search for settings. Let's go to settings. As we can see, Windows 11, the menu options are a little bit different compared to Windows 10. One way or another, you'll have apps here. You should 110% explore, triple check what's here. Because in my example, I have actually removed a lot of things here because I don't use it. And yet Windows, by default, it eats up resources due to the apps that's installed at the initial installation time. For example, in my scenario, I don't use Xbox, for example. Then I have actually removed that. At this moment, remember, some things you can remove, as in uninstall, and some things, the settings doesn't allow you to uninstall. Because of that fact, there are different ways to accomplish uninstallation. And Rank Your Blog will show you how to do that, okay? So I won't cover it because we need to then use the PowerShell, run as administrator, and then run a few commands to remove some of the apps that we cannot remove from this setting here. One way or another, to make your Windows 11 run faster, look at the apps and features, and uninstall the apps that you know you will not use. For example, the weather. In Windows 11, in the taskbar, you'll have uh, weather details shown. You know what? Is that really important? If it is, then keep it. But if it's not, then you want to remove it because it's slowing down your PC. Now, let's look at something else. Let's look at Okay, let's look at control panel. Let's look at Windows tools. Think of this similar to the previous version of Windows, and yet it's something new. So what Windows 11 has done, it has grouped the tools that you can use to manage your PC. You can defrag your C drive and doing so you'll gain a bit of speed difference. Also, what you want to do is you want to look at, uh, let's look at task manager, let's look at startup and let's look at status. Here we can see at startup, these are enabled. That means when you boot into Windows, by default, all these programs will be operating. And what you then want to do is triple check what's important here. For example, are you using Cortana? Microsoft Cortana? If so, leave it enabled. If not, you can disable startup programs. Okay, so this is a great feature to improve your operating system. Look at Startup tab and look at what's important. In my example, the Internet Security Program is important, so I need to have that working when Windows loads. Um, Wi-Fi information, 
that may be important. But let's say Acrobat Tray to do with Acrobat Pro, that may not be important when I boot up. It's only important when I run the program. Right? So it doesn't need to automatically start up each time I log into Windows. So Task Manager Startup tab should definitely be explored to make your Windows 11 Pro run fast. Next, what you want to do is you want to make sure the event viewer whereby you can see certain errors. Okay, so let's say application. Are there any errors here? Okay, you want to make sure that your system is operating with no critical errors. Because if there are errors, then that's a bad experience. So Events Viewer can be helpful for improving and tuning up your Windows operating system. Let's look at... Um, there's another option here that I'd like to show you. Actually, I'm going to search for it because that may be easier for you to locate as well. Search for reliability. Reli okay, where are we? It's called reliability monitor. Reliability view reliability history. Okay, so it's under security and maintenance through control panel. So through control panel, we have security and maintenance. which is here, okay? So here we have maintenance, Windows 11 by default, you know, maintains your operating system, that's great, but you wanna triple check the reliability monitor. Here, you don't want to see things like this. For my laptop, I've installed Alienware Command Center that was causing problems. Okay, so what I've done then is looking at this, I've decided to uninstall that program, which is conflicting with Windows 11. Okay, so that's definitely going to slow down my PC. So reliability monitor shows you critical events that you want to make sure that your operating system doesn't have. If it does, then you want to remedy that. Okay, so this is a great feature of Windows 11 Pro. Now, at this moment, surely there are many tools available, such as CC Cleaner, open source. Well, in fact, it was open source. It's paid now. But there is a free version whereby you can install it and check for you know, issues with the registry. Obviously, you back up first, and this program allows you to back up the registry before you start cleaning registry keys on Windows. Now, let's look at services, because this is one area that you can definitely use to speed up your Windows 11. Now, I cannot tell you what to automatically enable what to manually enable or even disable. But rather tell you, you need to be very thoughtful when you modify the services running on your operating system. For example, we have Xbox here. As you can see, I have disabled it. So I could right click, go to properties and say, you know what, I'm not really using that. Xbox Live game save stuff. So I disabled it. But if you're then using your Windows 11 for gaming and Xbox connection and so on, then you don't want to disable things. I'm showing you a performance as in tune up techniques for improving the speed of Windows 11 operating system. In fact, I always spend 
half an hour to an hour to triple make sure there are services running that I need. The rest, I disable. Having said that, you need to be very thoughtful before you change settings here because doing things wrong can stuff up the operating system. In another example that I can show you, because I'm using this laptop with Windows 11, I hardly use it to connect to a printer, for example. Right? If that's the case, I can look on the printer, say, okay, you know what? Print workflow, print extensions and notifications. So I'm not using Windows 11 on this laptop for any printing purposes. If that's the case, I can go out to properties. I can say, you know what? Disable it. Or I can select manual. When I select manual, anytime I need that service running, that's when it's going to start. Okay, so triple make sure that you know what you're doing here or even take screenshots before you make changes here. But if you explore the services for Windows and you know, tune it up according to your operating system, as in according to the way that you use Windows, I promise you, you're going to make Windows 11 run faster because you have tweaked the services that you use and either manually set the services that you sometimes use or even disable some of the services that you know you do not use. Okay, most of the things here, the Windows needs it. But some things such as Xbox Live, perhaps printing, um, remote con remote access to your device. I actually always disable that for any Windows operating system. You can find that under R, Remote Access Auto Configuration Manager, Remote Desktop Configuration. Do I want someone remotely connect to my Windows operating system? No. Then I can disable that. Now, at this stage, this is how you speed up Windows. Before you do, before you make any changes, create a restore point. Because if something goes wrong, you can always revert back to the default settings. Okay, So you can create a restore point and you should definitely create this before you make any changes to your Windows operating system. All you do is give a name, let's say 2020 before changes, and create system restore. If something goes wrong, you can revert back to that restore point, which is a great feature of Windows. So let me wrap it up once again. Control panel is your friend for speeding up. Windows. Go to Systems, Advanced Settings, look under Performance Settings, make changes accordingly. Look at the apps that's installed by default. And remove any app that you do not use. Remember, some apps that's pre-installed to Windows cannot be removed from the Settings option. That's why visit Rank Your Blog because I'm going to show you the PowerShell options to remove some of the bloat that comes with Windows 11 installation. So apps is definitely a great place to clean up your Windows operating system. Then Windows Tools is still your friend. You can look at Reliability Monitor to see if there are any errors. You can triple make sure services to find out some services you'll definitely can disable. That I can basically guarantee. Okay. Now, then your task manager, you can simply search for task manager and look at the startup option and things that you do not need, simply disable those from starting up. 
Yeah, you do this. Just follow these insights. Then I promise you, your Windows 11 operating system will be much faster than what it is currently. If you have new ideas or you know of different ways to speed up Windows 11, simply comment on this video and I'll talk with you in the next video session.